Alrighty, man. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Real Hood Life series. And as you guys can see, man, we are your boy Franklin here today, man. Here today. Now, uh, yeah, really quick, I want to go ahead and let you guys know that I still have not figured out what's up with my cops. So, after I record this episode and the next episode, I'm going to go ahead and switch my files over to the LSPDFR file. And, yeah. Yeah, we should be good there and also I think what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna try to stream some LSPDFR today so hopefully you guys do uh, you know what I'm saying tune into that stream that'll be uh, that'll probably be around later on today cuz I already know I'm still not that good with LSPDFR and stuff so you know what I'm saying it's gonna be it's definitely gonna be a funny stream trying to see uh, like how good I can do and stuff like that and I just realized something I don't have my glasses on so I'm, I'm basically playing blind right now that's 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 kind of not good. So I need I need to go get my glasses. <laughs> oh snap! But today is today's episode, man. I ain't even really get to say it because I gotta grab my glasses. Hold hold on hold. On. Let me grab. Let me grab. Jesus, I don't know why I didn't grab my glasses. Oops. I don't know why I didn't grab my glasses the first time. But yeah, man. There we go. See, I, I, one thing I noticed, man, I do these, I do these videos kind of like I do streams, man. You know what I'm saying? That's one thing I kind of realized. But we're gonna go ahead and go pick up this uh, Pontiac GTO. It's a '69 GTO to be exact. We're picking this up from Simeon Shop, um, and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna, you know, say we're gonna ride around in that guy for the day. I wanted to do some trapping, which is why we just went to that last plug. And yeah, we're gonna be pulling up on some folks. Now, what I want to do is I want to put some rims on this uh, GTO too. So you know we gonna do that. You know we finna do that. So you know what I'm saying, man. Let's go ahead. Let's make this happen. And we gonna pull. Probably have to pull up on a couple more plugs. I'm not sure if we're like out of drugs or anything, but we got to, uh, you know, try that out again. And also, man, I'm gonna have to redo my. Uh, I'm gonna have to. <laughs> I gotta redo the trap cars again. Uh, and, well, not trap cars, but I gotta redo Franklin's cars again. Because the mod is glitching again and it won't load any of my saved cards around the map. So, yeah, we're basically losing all of Franklin's cards again, and we're gonna have to re like re get them back. I'm glad I do remember most of them though. So it's not that it's not that bad of a you know not that bad of a thing, man. I do remember a majority of some of uh, Franklin's cards that we didn't sell at least. All right, what's up? Uh, you already know we walking up through here. We we basically own this place too. You know what I'm saying? Simeon do what we tell him to do. <laughs> if we tell him to get us a car, he gonna get us a car. We tell him to sell the business, he gonna sell this motherfucking home plan. But all right, uh, I believe we don't. Yeah, we gotta come in here. I gotta go ahead and let's go ahead and pay Frank. I mean, uh, I gotta go ahead and pay uh Simeon for this Pontiac. So we're gonna pay about. Uh, let's see. we'll do 30k. All right, we'll pay about 30k for that Pontiac, and uh, yeah, because it's not really it's not really major. Like, there's nothing really like majorly done to it. It's just uh, you know it's a stock 69 Pontiac, stock 69 GTO. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's go ahead and hop on into this guy. Let's see, we're gonna get a full in-depth look at it real quick. I want to make sure that we're not missing anything. So let me go ahead and pull it out. Turn the lights off. Oh, I can't even turn them off. Okay. I can't turn them off here. All right, so let me pull right here. We gotta go to Los Santos Customs. I definitely want to get a new paint job and stuff thrown on here. So let's see what all is done to this GTO before we do anything with it. Oh, we got twin turbos under the hood. Okay, so that's where most of the money went to, like you know the 30k, because you know these cars stock. They're not really super expensive. Well, actually, you know what I'm saying? In real life, if you were to get a restored one, it, it actually would be. So, you know what I'm saying? These, these actually can be really expensive. We got some beat in the trunk, too. Okay. Okay, got some beat in the trunk. Passenger side. It actually looks really good in here. It looks real good in here, man. Let me know what y'all think about it. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all like the, uh, y'all like the GTO? Let me know what y'all think, man. We're gonna go ahead and go. We gotta throw some rims on here and stuff. So we'll really see if you guys really like it once the rims and stuff are uh, thrown on here. So yeah, let's go ahead and uh, actually, we know we we actually need to go to our sh uh, our shop to make that happen. You know what I'm saying? To throw the rims and stuff on there. 
So what we'll do is let's make our way to our shop. Make our way to our shop. We're gonna go ahead and make this happen. I'm not going the highway route. I don't know why it's trying to make me take the highway route. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna have to get some window tent. I definitely wanna put some tent on these windows. Uh, I wanna put some tent on these windows, get some rims on here, uh, new paint job. And uh, I, that's, that's basically it. You know what I'm saying? We really, as you can see, it's kind of quick. We really don't need too much performance, but I'm gonna go ahead and put the performance parts on here anyway. Y'all know the gas tank is more than likely behind the license plate. That's just how they did most of these older cars back in the day. Because I don't see it on the side, so I'm pretty sure the gas tank is on the uh, is behind the license plate. I finally turned the lights off. Now I see the turn signals don't work. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. No biggie. Oh wait, I just realized we didn't even uh oh, we didn't even go to the plug that was over there like I wanted to, so let's turn around real quick. I wanted to hit this plug up before we actually left. That's why my waypoint didn't change. So let's go ahead, let me hit this plug real quick before we even uh put rims on here. So hopefully once I do switch my files over to the LSPDFR file, I should be able to go ahead and uh do those missions and stuff again. Cause we have a lot of missions we still have yet to do. And I really want to go ahead and do them, so we're going to go ahead. I'm going to sell all the mess right here. It seems like we can make a, a good little profit off of it, all of it. Let's go to take the weed. But yeah, man, it's like, um, I really, I really want to go ahead and finish up with those missions. Because those missions are a good source of income. Like, they're a good way to make some money. And then on top of a good way to make some money, you know what I'm saying, there'll be jobs for, you know, there'll be jobs for Franklin to do. Because I know he won't be the only one, you know what I'm saying? Because we still got the Franklin and Lamar missions where we got to do missions with Lamar. And then there'll be missions with other people. They got the gang missions and all that too, man. That's another reason why I really want to do it. I want to do those gang missions. So, you know what I'm saying? We will be, uh, I will be doing that. So, hopefully, maybe switching over to my LSPDFR file should fix everything. I don't, I don't see why it shouldn't, so. You know what I'm saying? Let me see why I should. Alright, so let's go ahead and make our way. You machine, we're gonna go ahead and make our way. And we're almost at the shop. So hopefully you guys hopefully you guys are enjoying the episode nonetheless. You know what I'm saying, man? I'm trying to really we're trying to really get we get on the pop with it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, today I'm gonna possibly try to do a decent amount of GTA. You know what I'm saying? Y'all already know, man. Sticking with a lot of GTA. Been posting a lot of GTA recently. I don't know. I've really been in the GTA mood lately. Kind of, you know, surprisingly. Before I wasn't really, like, I ain't gonna lie to you guys, man. Before I wasn't really in the GTA mood. Like, I wasn't really in the mood to really play GTA all day, every day. Which is why I only did, like, one to two videos of it. Well, whenever I did two videos, you know, obviously I wanted to play. But whenever I did one video, it's usually because I didn't feel like recording a second video. You know what I'm saying? But... Now it's like a whole different thing. I actually feel like playing GTA now. Like this, this is crazy. I just switched up everything ever since we started. Ever since we restarted with season three, I've wanted to. I wanted to play. The Earth is down there. Why is the Earth here? I don't, I don't remember bringing that guy here. Y'all see the rental cars aren't here. It's because I don't have them in the game right now. You know, save save me some uh some some CPU powers. You know what I'm saying? All right, so let's go ahead and see what kind of paint job we should throw on here. Let me see what we have. Oh wait, oh, I was about to say. I was about to say, can I not? Oh, I don't think I can change the paint job. It's stuck red like this. What? Hold up, ain't no way. Are there any liveries? No? Really? Oh boy, we're stuck with this paint job? I'm stuck with the red paint job. There's nothing we can do. All right, you know what? Let's see. Um, I could throw on some. Yeah, we could throw on some yellow to just match with the judge little logo and stuff. Ah, uh, I was not expecting to be stuck with the paint job though. Okay, that's fine. That's fine, I guess. Um, definitely want to go with probably race yellow. Race yellow seems like the brightest. 
Oh, nah, we can't go with race yellow. Nah. Nah, we can't do it. We gotta do regular yellow. It kind of all, it's like it's going to green. I think my daylight, uh, my, yeah, my game time is going a little dark. That's probably why. So, let me see. Let me go ahead and advance. Yeah, it's going dark. That's that's really why. Let's go ahead and advance my game time a few hours. There we go. We'll go 5 o'clock in the morning. All right. So, let's go ahead and uh, let's throw some rims on here. So, we can go ahead and make sure, you know what I'm saying? Make sure we ride in there, day. All right, so here are the rims. Now you see the rims actually look pretty damn nice. These don't look too bad on here. I actually might throw these on. These will be the first time we use these rims. I think these are Money Forge too. That's what it looks like. That's what the uh, emblem in the middle looks like, a Money Forge. These aren't too bad either, but they got the yellow in there. See, some of the rims come out red. Some out, some come out with yellow. I kind of like that. I kind of like that. That's, that's pretty cool. So we just got to extend those rims. That's, you know, it's no biggie those see these came out yellow well these aren't too bad I like these you know what I'm saying I kind of want to just throw on some rims that we have not been using I may throw those rims that we passed up though wait throw those on let me see where they at right here we go throw these on. I like these. I like these. Let me know what you guys think about these. Let's go ahead and resize them. All right. Now you see we can go with some pretty big rims. You know what I'm saying? Well, actually, I just realized something. We can't go with too too big. So I guess what we'll do is we'll go with some foes. You know what I'm saying? That's that's what we got on right now. That's some foes. I'm gonna leave them kind of tucking a little bit, and let's go ahead and let's bring them above the ground. Boy, that rim is tucked. It doesn't. It doesn't come through the front, bro. Oh, let me know what y'all think about that. Let me know if we should start tucking some rims like that, bro. That is actually kind of fire. I ain't even gonna lie. I kind of like that. I kind of like it just a little bit. <laughs> just a little bit. All right, so we gotta go to 46. See, look, that's how it looks tucked, bro. Oh, it goes through. Oh, we can't leave it. Never mind. Damn it. I mean, we can. It'll just be like kind of slammed into. Oh wait, the turning kind of screws up with it. I mean, we won't just be able to watch it. I don't know. That kind of, kind of like it a little bit. Kind of like it a little bit. All right, let's go ahead. Let's raise my ride height. There we go. All right, see, we getting a little bit of wheel glitching. Let me see if that's still gonna happen once we're out here. Doesn't look like it's gonna be happening too wildly. I know the main and easy way to stop that is to just downsize the rims a little bit. Let's yeah, see. So what we're gonna do is down. I think this would be the good size right here. Yeah, this would be a good size right here. So let's go ahead and drop that back now. One. Or should I drop it now? Two. Oh yeah. Definitely had it up a little too high. All right, so 43 is what we needed at. So that means I can go ahead and drop my ride height down a little bit. All right, so that should stop a little bit of the glitching now. There we go. So let me know what y'all think about the new GTO. I guess we'll say we got it on some 24s. You know what I'm saying? I kind of like it on these rims too. These rims look really nice. They match the GTO a lot. Like we're really about to start doing some old schools. A lot of you guys have been telling me to bring the Monte Carlo back. So Franklin will be getting himself a Monte Carlo um, as well. We'll be doing that. Oh, we'll hopefully be doing that today. I'm going to try to see if I can do maybe like three real life episodes today. And then we'll do like, what? Like maybe, uh, I want to try and do that. Um, I want to try and do the, uh, what you call it? We'll try and do like two real hood life episodes today. and Or three real hood life episodes today. And I want to try and get a LSPDFR episode done. Uh, I still, I'm still kind of a little iffy with the controls. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to go ahead and stream it instead of recording it. So that way, you know what I'm saying, it'll it'll be a little bit more funny, you know what I'm saying? It'll be a little a little more funny. And you know what I'm saying, you guys can get a good little laugh. You guys can get a good little laugh live. Plus I think it'll be a little bit better if I played it live. So that way, you know what I'm saying, we could easily make things happen. I'ma just probably like open up the controls uh, on my other monitor so that I can, you know what I'm saying, if I do need to see how to do something, I can still do it, you know what I'm saying? So if you guys see that LSPDFR stream, make sure you guys join in that guy if you want to get you a good little laugh, you know what I'm saying? Because it's going to be funny watching me fail pretty easily, you know what I'm saying? So, 
definitely make sure if you want to get you a good little laugh, man, make sure you go ahead. And I turned way too soon. I should have followed his his driving line because he actually took that he took that turn right. All right, here we go. Go ahead, let's finish up. Let's make our way to this next plug. Uh, I kind of want to go ahead and serve some plugs. You know what I'm saying? We need to get us some window tint too. I almost forgot about that. We'll probably have to stop at Los Santos Customs for that. Uh, no, we don't. We don't do window tint at my shop. So, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna have to uh, make sure we stop at another shop, and get some, uh, get some work done. Y'all know we don't do everything at my shop. Right now, we do is painting and rims. We don't do nothing else at my shop. So, you know what I'm saying? I actually like this GTO. That that yellow uh, pearl actually goes pretty well with this red. It, it kind of come off as a lava color now. Like the lava red, I think that's the color. That's what it kind of comes off as now. And right, look at that, that looks real nice. All right, let's see what this dude has. See if you got anything for me, he got some cocaine. We'll take that. Uh, we'll take the weed too, why not? You know what I'm saying, we'll take the weed too. Not really much, but I, I figured, you know what I'm saying, I guess we can basically be done there. Let's go ahead, let's start trapping. Let's pull up on some people. Cause you know what I'm saying, we're, we're kind of full, we're almost full. So let's see, let's see what we can go ahead. Let's see what kind of orders we can get. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grab a, a thumbnail real quick. Y'all already know how I do, man. I gotta grab some thumbnails. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and make our way. Because we do a little bit of first person. Oh, the gauges and stuff work? Okay. So here's some first person action on the, the GTO. Let me know what y'all think about the GTO, man. I really like this car, bro. I wasn't expecting to like it this much, but something just told me. I don't know. I woke up today and someone was just like, what about some old schools today, bro? You you always riding in the new schools. You always riding in these modern cars, man. What, what about some old schools today? So, you know what I'm saying? We, you know, 69 Pontiac GTO. I actually like this car, you know what I'm saying, in real life, kind of. Like, not 100%. Like, it's not really... It's not, an, it's not one of my go-tos for older cars. Like, if you guys know me, you know I love modern cars more than anything. But if I really had to choose out of, you know, some older cars, I would really choose like a... Oh, we're going to get one of those too. But I'd really choose a, like a 69 Camaro or, you know, a 70 Chevelle, something like that. You know what I'm saying? Maybe even... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe even a 70s Camaro. I actually like the 70s Camaros too. I, I kind of, kind of slightly like the 70s Challengers. Slightly. Just a little bit. Just a little. Like, I do like the Monte Carlo, the 86 Monte Carlo. I do like that. You know what I'm saying? That's the known, that's the known Monte Carlo that everybody puts rims and stuff on, man. Like, that is the known one that everybody loves to do crazy shit to, man. So, you know, I really do like that one, too. It's, it's a bunch of older cars that I like. I just prefer modern cars over older cars. It's like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I just like the more modern, sleek uh, look. Some cars, some cars are a little boxy though. I ain't gonna lie. Like you know, Chevy went the box route with their trucks and stuff, and I don't know how I really you know feel about that 100%. I remember when they first came out, they they weren't they weren't my cup of tea at all. I ain't really I ain't really like them too much. They were they were boxed the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? But now it's a whole other story. Now they're actually not that bad now. And then you know like. Uh, most of the 2019 model cars, most of the new generation cars, it's like they really, they they really have to grow on you now. But it's like when they do, it's like you can't stop loving them. <laughs> you can't. And like the 2018 Mustang, I kid you guys not, I did not like that. I did not like how that car looked at all. Like the first two weeks I seen it, but then it grew on me so quick. It's like I love it now. Like that thing, that Mustang is nice as hell. 2018 and. Uh, a, I'm, I'm kind of I'm kind of contemplating on saving for a Mustang in real life and getting a and getting a like a 5.0 2018 Mustang or something like that and you know driving around the net for like a little bit and then probably selling that for the Hellcat you know what I'm saying because I do want that Hellcat Charger more than anything that's like one of my favorite cars and like I did say before I don't count cars that cost less than a hundred thousand dollars as a dream car even though you can kind of count the Hellcat as a dream car considering that I've wanted it for so long but you know what I'm saying I just don't see it as a dream car simply because of how much it costs like 
you can get a you can get a 2015 Hellcat for like 45, 50,000. Like that's honestly that's not hard money to get nowadays. <laughs> like if I really wanted to, I could I could have been had a Hellcat. If if that was the case, I could have been had me a 2015 Hellcat with like 15, 20,000 miles on it. Could have easily had me one like earlier this year, but it's like there's there's a bunch of different things that go into play when it comes to trying to get a car like that like you know the, really the main thing is the area that i live in like living in I, I, you know i'm currently still living in an apartment so i really don't want i don't want a car that costs more than ten thousand dollars in an apartment it's like people, people get their cars stolen all the time in apartments and if i'm one of the people riding around in that damn hellcat in my damn apartments bro i i can already guarantee that my shit gonna be gone within six months and i ain't got time for that right you know what i'm saying i ain't got time for that so you know what I'm saying, and I, I honestly didn't think that was gonna be that big of a deal. But man, earlier this year, my my plug had his car stolen, and it's like the crazy part about that is he still had the keys to his car. They just came and they took it, like they literally came with the tow truck and they towed his shit out of here. Like his shit was still e-brake on and everything, but they towed his shit out of here, bro. It's like what? Oh hell nah, bro. I'm good. I'm good. Like that's 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 why I'm not I'm not really um uh, I'm not really in a rush, man. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of people that it's a lot of people that really been talking about uh you know what I'm saying? Like I've been talking about the Hellcat and stuff like that for so long and it's 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 reasons why oh wow, why'd I get out? It's reasons why I don't have the Hellcat yet. And it's smart reasons why I don't have the Hellcat yet. But you know, it's it's people out there who will think, oh, if you're making enough money just go ahead and get it like no nah, there there's other shit that really do come into play when it comes to buying shit and when i was younger i didn't realize that but it's like now i, I really do realize that like you gotta really pick the perfect time to buy shit now <laughs> like you can't just you can't just up and decide that you want to buy something today uh, unless you really unless you really got the money like that unless you're a rapper or some shit you can't really just up and decide why do i keep getting out you can't just really up and decide that you want to, you know what I'm saying? Just let me go ahead and go get this Hellcat. I don't care that I'm in apartments. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I ain't, you know what I'm saying? I ain't with it, bro. I ain't with it. I'm not, I'm not really with that buying expensive shit and then having to replace expensive shit or go through some issues trying to, um, you know what I'm saying, replace expensive shit. So that's why I'm really just, I really just changing up my mentality. I'll go ahead and plus I need to work on my patience anyway. And it's like, I make, I've been making enough for the Hellcat, that's the thing. I've been making enough. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I can get the Hellcat, drop like a what, like a twenty thousand dollar down payment on it, and pay the rest off before before two years even passes with that Hellcat. You know what I'm saying? Like, I could do it like that. Like, that's really how I was gonna do any car that I finance. To be honest, I was gonna finance the car, drop a fat down payment on it, and then try and pay it off within a year. You know what I'm saying? That's that's my plan. Which is another reason why I didn't get the car yet. I'm trying to save up, trying to save up, get enough, and I'm trying to make sure that after I drop 20 bands on a fucking car, that I can still afford insurance and, you know, insurance, the note, because I already know insurance on a Hellcat at my age, bro, I'm only 20. Insurance on a 20 year old Hellcat, bro, my insurance is gonna, it's gonna be at least five, six hundred dollars a month. And then the, the, the note is gonna be like three fifty, four hundred dollars. That's a thousand dollars right there just on the car alone. So it's like, oh no, I'm good. You know what I'm saying? That, that that's a little that's a little too much right now. Slick. I, I still kind of can't afford that, but I don't want to be paying month to month like that. So you know what I'm saying? I rather I'd rather go ahead and wait a little bit. And you know what I'm saying? I, I know where, where does this do that? Are we at the right spot? Or where does this do that? But yeah, you know what I'm saying? I'd rather just go ahead and wait. Oh yeah, yeah, we're at the right spot. I forgot, they like to put them over here. But yeah, man, that's that's really my logic behind, you know, that. And you know, the main reason why I don't have a car right now is because I'm I'm really just trying to find the perfect car. I don't wanna, I really don't wanna buy no car that's gonna give me issues. All right, that, that, that's my main thing. I don't, I don't watch my sister do that. Like, I don't watch her go through like three cars in three years. It's like, I'm good, bruh. I'm not trying to do that, bruh. I am not trying to do that. That is, that is literally, that's a waste of money, bruh. Like, that is a waste, all right? So it's like, I'm trying not to be like that. I'm trying to make sure that the car that I get is gonna last me at least six months before I have to put any work into it. So you know what I'm saying, man? And 
and the only reason why I say six months is because I want to get a magnum. I done told you how that like a thousand times. I've been looking for the perfect magnum for the longest. I really just want my dad to sell me his magnum, but he, I don't think he wants to, bro. It's like, I really think he want to hold on to that magnum. He done said a thousand times that he want to sell it, but he's been holding on to that magnum for like 10 freaking years now, and he barely drives it. Like, my, bro, my dad has had that magnum since release. I think it's a 2006, 2007 Dodge Magnum RT. He's had this shit since release, all right? Since it dropped, like... So he put all the miles on it. It only has like 130,000 miles on it. And my dad put 130,000 miles on that Magnum in like, what, 12 years, 10 years, 10 to 12 years? Like what? That, that means he only drove it 10,000 miles a year, less than that, if that, 10,000 or less miles a year. Like, bro, give me that damn Magnum, bruh. That Magnum is well taken care of, bruh. Like, you know what I'm saying? What, what Magnum you guys know is out there that that's well that's like 10 that no way that's like what 12 years old almost 13 years old all right almost 13 years old has less than 150,000 miles on it less than 150,000 all right still runs you know basically fine nothing's really nothing's really wrong with it the most issues my dad has had out of that magnum in the last five years was the fact that his back left uh, his back left tire his float because he got 26 inch floaters on that on the magnum so his back left tire keeps uh, popping because he's on super skins that's the only issue that he's really had in the past five years like bruh what the most money my dad has spent is just replacing tires on that magnum it's like what bruh pass me that magnum bruh that shit ain't got no problems bruh I need that. But at the moment, man, my dad's still trying to give me his Charger. So he has a 2006 Dodge Charger that I think he had that a little bit after the Magnum. Because I don't, I ain't even gonna lie, I, I don't remember seeing the Magnum when I was growing up actually visiting my dad and stuff. So, um, the, when I first, first seen the Charger, did I, wait, did I say the Magnum? I don't remember seeing the Charger growing up and visiting my dad all the time and stuff. But, you know what I'm saying, I, I do remember seeing the Magnum. I don't watch the Magnum switch between like three three different sets of rims in like, like what, 10 years? Like my dad really don't switch rims too often, but you know what I'm saying, we need to give us some food real quick. My dad doesn't really switch rims too often, but when he does, you know what I'm saying, it's like, it's an upgrade. Cause I remember he went from like some 20 folds that were regular, they were regular 20 folds, no floaters, no nothing, they were regular 20 folds. I actually liked those a lot, They were they were pretty nice. And then, like, out of nowhere, he switched to the floaters. And I'm like, damn. Okay. I like that. I like them. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. That, that's really my thing, man. I'm really I'm, I'm really trying to see. But I can't get the Magnum if I'm living in apartments. I, 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 he already told me that. He's not going to give me the Magnum if I'm standing in apartments. Like, you know, and I, I understand that. That Magnum has some shit on it. You know what I'm saying? It got some floaters on it. It got some beat in the trunk. It's candy painted. Like, that Magnum is completely custom. It's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's completely custom. That, that Magnum was entered in shows and stuff back in the day and was winning shows. Like, it's not even like, it's not even like over the top custom either. It's just like, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's exterior custom. There is really not too much done to the interior. But it's exterior is what's really done to it. But yeah, man, that's really my thing on, you know what I'm saying? That's my thing on cars and stuff. I Like, at the moment, not having a car doesn't really bother me because I don't really have to, I don't really have to go to, I don't have to go nowhere really, you know what I'm saying? Like, being being a full-time YouTuber, you realize that, you know what I'm saying, you would end up spending a lot more money on shit that you really don't need to spend money on. Because it's like, if I had a job, if I had a job that I had to leave my house for, then I'd need a car. Then not having a car would be a problem, but... You know what I'm saying? Not having a car now, it's not really that big of a deal. I could just Uber everywhere. You know what I'm saying? I catch an Uber or a Lyft, and I've been doing that. That's all. Like that's literally all I do. And plus, man, if some of you guys actually, you know what I'm saying? For for some of the people that would be like, okay, see, there's a car nearby that that has parts on it that it shouldn't. But you know, for some of you guys that would actually think, there's a lot of people. That I didn't seen before, they like they don't love comments or they didn't said before, like oh you, like well, why don't you have a car? Like oh yeah you you you're broke, you don't make no money and shit like that. It's like, bro, if you were smart, you'd know that Lyft and Uber is more expensive than owning your own car. Like come on now, who the fuck finna pay? like, bro? I have to pay twenty dollars to go thirty minutes down the road, bruh. 
Like, you know what I'm saying? If I had a car, it wouldn't even cost $20 worth of gas to do that shit. You know what I'm saying? So think about that shit before you really start saying shit. You know, gotta realize Uber and Lyft is way more expensive than, you know what I'm saying? And it's not even 20, it'll be like 20, 25. It's always like $25 to get to, to go 30 minutes down the road. You know what I'm saying? To, to go 10 minutes down the road, it'll be like 10, $15. Like, come on now. Come on now. Who the fuck you know paying 10, $15? And gas money. And then that's just to get there. I have to pay another 10, 15 to get back. Another 10, 20, 25 to get back. So it cost me $50 just to go somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Who the fuck you know putting $50 in a tank every day to go somewhere? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, man? People, you know what I'm saying? You gotta realize that. There's a lot of people out there who don't really understand that type shit. And that's how I know that you don't, you, if you don't use Uber or Lyft, that's how I know you don't know how expensive that shit really is because you don't use it. You know what I'm saying? That, that's 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 my thing about that. Cause I remember, bruh, there there was a while back, there there was there was there was a couple of people that were that was really trying to basically trying to clown me for not having a car. It's like, bitch, you can't even do half the shit I do. Shut your mouth, boy. What? You ain't on my level, bruh. Sit down, bruh. And you know, I ain't even I ain't even that really that type of person, bruh. I, I really don't I, don't I don't care what people do. I don't care how much other people how much money other people make. I only care about how much money I make, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, if other people you know, if you make if you make X amount of dollars, bro, more power to you, bro. I'm you know what I'm saying? I'm with you. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, it is what it is, bro. This shit ain't no competition, bro. There's enough money for everybody. You know what I'm saying? There's enough money to go around for everybody. There ain't none of this shit a competition, bro. But people like to act like it's a competition out here and you know what I'm saying? It, it is what it is, man. You best believe you won't ever catch me in no competition because I'm already ahead of you niggas. It's simple. <laughs> but yeah, man. <laughs> I guess this will be the last dude that we'll pull up on right here. All right. But yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the nice little talk. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to start doing more episodes where, you know what I'm saying? I just give my little two cents and my thoughts on things. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that because... You know what I'm saying? Really, basically, just start talking about certain topics and stuff in videos instead of just getting on here and just rambling sometimes. We'll go ahead and we'll have actual topics now, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, that was a, you know, what we were just talking about. That was a pretty good little topic. That we, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the cops, too, because y'all know my cops are still glitched. So, ain't no point in even, you know what I'm saying, trying to avoid them. But, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's really my thing. That's my thing about cars. So, this topic... Uh, this video was really about cars. But yeah, man, hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, make sure you guys drop a like down below. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. Links in the description down below. Make sure you guys let me know what you think about the 69 GTO. And if you guys want to see more older cars. Like, if you guys want to see more episodes with more old schools, uh, let me know, man. We'll definitely get more old schools done over the next week or so uh, for you guys. I'm definitely about to bring out some more swangers. So, you know what I'm saying, man? Uh, hopefully, you guys do, uh, you know what I'm saying, get ready for that. We're about to have some more whips with the swingers. But, yeah, man, hopefully, you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, make sure you guys drop a like down below. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. Links are in the description down below. And, uh, yeah, I will catch you guys in the next episode or last stream, man. We're about to pull up at our aunt's house which we i now that i think about it why are we pulling up at our aunt's house we got like two houses that we can go to we got like a whole two houses that we can go to but we've been pulling up at our aunt's house lately all right man but yeah hopefully you guys did enjoy i will catch you guys in the next one peace shine out